welcome back to another video we have the march scroller box here if you do not know what a scroller box is it is a monthly art subscription box it costs 16 pounds 95 for the box itself free posting and packaging here in the uk but additional cost outside of the uk you receive a box of mysterious art supplies a lovely little vinyl sticker a piece of artwork from the featured artist of the box a little british suite i believe they're always british and um, a scrawler challenge which is a word or phrase where you use just the supplies in the box to create a piece of artwork so let's get straight into the box Ooh, we've got some dark colors going on here so ooh, interesting that doesn't allude to much so we have this scroller zine which will tell us a little bit about the supplies some hints and tips a bit about the featured artist but i will read through that um whilst we swatch and we'll flick through it at the end of this little filming segment oh interesting i deduce we have got markers here some sort of alcohol marker it looks looks very similar this is a lovely piece of artwork it's very different interesting okay so this is the featured artist imri in scotland loves to draw all things robots and cartoons so pause that there if you want to read that little segment there and check out the instagram i always do of these featured artists because they're always wonderful we have some a5 white card smooth okay so it's not the marker paper you'd usually get but it could could still be markers i'm still holding out for markers here <laughs> um okay let's get into the actual supplies okay let's put that to one side so we have the vinyl sticker which is a piece of this zine cover which is nice it's very small but you can just about see the num the numbers there we also have right, let's run through these we have a copic multi-liner in black with the size 0.3 so a good size there, a good size. Copic multiliners are always renowned for not smudging under alcohol markers. We then have a Lyra polycolor pencil in dark violet. Interesting. Okay. So it doesn't say anything about it other than it's made from permanent high pigment powders that are uv resistant this pencil will guarantee an intense bright color distribution every time so i think it's just a colored pencil um no watercolor pencil or anything like that but it's a nice color it's a lovely color okay and then next we have our mandatory pencil by koinor um in 3b so a, a semi soft pencil there nice nice and then the main thing in the box are these Marabou sketch markers. So those paint, paint pens we got not too long ago, they were Marabou as well. So they must be on a, a new hype of bringing out new products or something like that. So this is called the Alpha Robot Set, which must be what has inspired the artwork a little. And indeed, they are alcohol-based markers. Let's have a look. Ooh, interesting. I think we, I'm sure we've had some Marabou markers before. Okay, so we have a set of greys. So these, are they cool greys? Are they warm greys? It doesn't tell me. Cool grey. Oh, no, we've got three of both. Three warm, three cool. So I would imagine, okay, the numbers don't elude like a Copic marker would. So I don't know which ones are warm, which ones are cool. But let's see what we've got. Okay, so we have a bullet nib on one end and we have a chisel nib on the other. So no brush nib, which is not, not my favourite, but I'm sure we can work through that. A nice square barrel, kind of similar to, um, oh, now I can't remember the name of them, some other marker. I'll pop it on screen when I've remembered. Um, a nice, I wouldn't say it feels cheap, it feels quite nice. Um yeah excited we could definitely create something nice with that so finally let's have a look at the scroller challenge so bionic being so yes it's a bit of a character creation um type challenge there hence the artwork here but that could be fun i think 
Do you know what's really nice to do is actually find just an, an inanimate object in your house and create a robot or a spaceship or something from it. I've done that before. I've made, I took my PlayStation controller and made it into a spaceship and I think that's really fun to do. So maybe I'll go down that route for this. Um, and, you know, it's all kind of, it's mechanical so I feel like you can draw any shape and it looks pretty damn good and matches the brief so that'll be exciting to try and um, let's have a quick flick through this scrawler zine so this is the lovely spread of supplies there it just gives you a brief um, overview on what's in these so the 10 sheets of extra smooth card is a resilient surface designed to endure repeating work and erasing so I'd be interested to see which we'll do in the swatching process whether the alcohol markers go through that too much or whether they eat up the paper it's always a good test i've just realized i don't have my scrawler suite in here which is very disappointing but that should have been this iconic wee scottish laddie suite <laughs> um okay that would have been really interesting to try but no i do not have that in my box so if any of you have received your box and received that suite let me know what that tastes like i'd be interested to know um, this is a little bit more about the scrawler artist so pause that there if you want to read a little bit more about that um, and to see a little bit more of the artwork again go follow them um, tag here then we have some scrawler tips and things to try like i said i will swatch the supplies and read both of these um, whilst that is happening and then here is some featured artwork from the last box. Oh, so it's no, not the last box, the box before that. So this is the actual Marabou um, paint markers we received. There's some lovely artwork on here. So the, the theme for that was Creature Comforts. Oh, some lovely. Look at this cat. <laughs> I like that. I like that a lot. Um, some lovely ones. And then the scroller top three. These are lovely. I like those. I like those a lot. Very nice very nice um and then the scroller extra is all about robots and how and if they can make artworks that's always interesting to read as well um so that is it for the supplies let's get into swatching and then create some artwork based on the prompt bionic being <laughs> I will just read the scrawler tips. So there's a little section about um, the artwork and behind the artwork. I won't read all of it. I will just say that the artist actually admits that they're not very good at blending and so they actually use cell shading, which I really admire that they've kind of said that because, I mean, blending isn't for everyone. It is quite hard sometimes, especially on different papers. And I think it's quite nice that it allows um, everyone trying this box to kind of see that you don't have to be perfect at using these supplies you can still use them in a great way so i just thought that was really nice to say so let's read the things to try section so firstly get to planning a number one rule for markers is to swatch your colors before diving into a final piece you'll want to see which colors work well together and how the colors blend before starting to avoid any mistakes down the line it's also worth doing a bleed test which swatching your markers draw a circle and colour it in to see how much the colour will bleed outside that circle. This will ensure a neater result in your creations. Graphic sketch markers are fast drying, however if you work quickly the colours can be mixed and blended whilst they are still wet. Be sure to experiment with the colour gradients and fades that you can create. When layering it is also best to start with lighter colours first and build to darker as light colours will not show up as well on top of darker tones. Alcohol markers are great for layering so try working from background to foreground when placing your colors that that way you can build up intensity and depth as you move into the more detailed foreground features this is great for adding depth to your piece by allowing other colors to pop out of the page these markers come with two tip types which will be great for different techniques in your artwork the chisel nib is fantastic for filling in dark uh, large blocks of color like background shades whilst the bullet nib is great for finer details and lining for an even coverage make sure you move your markers slowly over over the page moving too quickly will cause that undesirable streaky look to your drawings Another way to avoid unwanted streaks or marks is to move the pen in the direction your subject is. Try using different strokes types, 
throughout your drawing to create the illusion of texture and dimension. I think there's some really, really good tips there and I definitely used a lot of those and I actually found that blending on this paper was absolutely gorgeous. It blended so, so well. Um, so I was actually really pleased with the, the blending on that. Um, a little bit about my artwork here. <laughs> I'm actually gonna just speed through this robot thing that I'm drawing here because it is awful. <laughs> it's really horrendous and I was I was not happy with it and other than the fact that I had a little bit of a migraine after I filmed the full scroller box I actually gave myself that little bit of time and allowed myself to practice to plan to come up with a better idea so I'm gonna skip through this robot um, kind of time lapse it and let you kind of watch it in really really quick time so you don't see it very much and then I actually had another go at this and unfortunately my sketching and inking phase didn't film annoyingly I think the the footage just I mustn't have pressed record sometimes it happens um but I do have um the kind of doing a little bit more inking and also the coloring phase with the pens and I'm really really pleased with it and I'll let you skip through this robot then watch the better piece of artwork that in my eyes um, and then I'll let you listen to the final thoughts what are those? later all right so on to the piece of artwork that I'm a bit more proud of um, like I said the inking and the sketching phase didn't film other than this little section here unfortunately but um, you get the gist it was just me sketching it out and then inking over the sketch <laughs> uh, nothing too complex there but um, like I mentioned I actually scanned in this line work because I actually really love it and perhaps may colour it digitally and in the future it might become like a colouring page if I build enough of them up um, so that would be nice but yeah I just I'm so much happier with this piece of artwork it's so nice I really did benefit from having that extra time and thinking about it and you know the keys to I was trying to figure out the key of how to create something look mechanical and it's a lot of layering it's a lot of figuring out how something would move so with pivot points etc um and kind of having the sh shadowing of plates laying on top of one another um which I think I managed to capture it might be a little bit overdone with this but I mean it has a lot of feathers and I feel like you've got to draw each feather as a separate movable part but you could bl block them together as plates I don't know depends what the style you want to go with and I think I was really heavily basing this on the horizon um game franchise and the the beautiful mechanical creatures that are in that game and i think that really inspired me and i i definitely think that that was my main um source of inspiration for these for this um for this heron so i basically decided that the purple pencil would be kind of majority in the areas where there's a lot of like ducting a lot of uh, pipe work between areas you know that are going to put pumping hydraulic liquids etc and then just the odd main highlighted plate i colored in purple as well um unfortunately because i'd made this drawing so tightly packed and the the black lines were so heavy um they could have been a bit thinner i think you kind of lose a little bit of that purple um and it kind of loses some of the highlights and the shadows because of the the deep color um so maybe a bit of a brighter color might have worked there um but other than that I kind of I, I didn't want to go too detailed and colour each plate in with their own shadowing their own you know gradient of the markers so I kind of did a bit of a, a blanket shading with with the markers and and coloured in the, the lightest colour over everything except leaving kind of the top part of the, the the heron where the light is shining on white pure white and then I built up the colours there and I did in fact use the 
uh, just the cool greys. I didn't really want to mix in the warm greys after doing that on that previous robot. I think it definitely didn't need that. I needed to stick with just the one grey um, and I chose cool for this piece. So I think I'm just going to let you watch the rest of this video. My final thoughts on the box were that it's fabulous. The, the, the markers are really good. I really enjoyed it. The marker paper was much better than expected and everything worked together beautifully. I just, I actually don't think it needed anything extra in the box to be honest so um, I'm pretty pleased with it let me know if you were pleased with the box as well down in the comments below and whether you think I should make a little series out of this making other animals and birds into these mechanical creatures and maybe that will be something we do in the future so thank you very much for watching I hope you enjoy the rest of this video and I'll see you in the next one